Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a big money Bolo video for you. What sold? These items sold faster on eBay, and these items sold for $35 or more. I'm trying to look here. I know I have at least, I've got some good ones. I've got some good ones. Stay tuned. All right. Um, let's see. And if you want to see items that you can find easier that sold for $35 or less, you can check out my bread and butter bolo series, um, which those are easier to find items. Okay, let's get started. Um, get my screen share up. And the first item is... All right, this Barbie. I picked up a bunch of Barbies at a garage sale. Bought them all. It came to about $4 a Barbie. And I sold this for... $38. The buyer paid shipping. It's a 1997 Barbie doll. It's Sleeping Beauty fairy tale. I mean, brand new. Awesome. And the buyer did pay shipping on that. The next item I sold, okay, this was a fun one. I picked this up at a garage sale. It was like in a tin with some helmets. And I think I paid a dollar for all of it. Hmm. I think I'm on the wrong page. Hold on a second. There it is. Oops. Yeah, a dollar. I, I had a Barbie as my first item. So that first Barbie I showed you, it actually sold for 40. I had it mixed up. Um, so yeah, I, I got these in a tin with some football helmets and I had no idea what they were. And somebody said they went with an electronic football game. I was able to narrow it down but I didn't know what team it was. I was very generic with my title. It's Vintage Miniature Replacement Football Players for Electric Football Game. You guys, I started getting offer, 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 offer. And somebody messaged me and they're like, I made an offer on your item. Please do not accept an offer um, from someone else. And I'm like, I can't accept an offer from someone else. There's a bid on the item. I guess if that person bid it up and I ended the auction early, I could do that. But if there's like a bidding war, that would be crazy. But anyway, so after I got that message, another person emailed me and said, will you end the auction early if I give you this amount? And I was like, no. And I think it was $50. Um, and I messaged that person back and I'm like, how did you know that was going to happen? So I guess these two people, maybe, um, maybe they both try to buy these and that person tries to undercut the person and it's worked before. I don't know, but it was crazy. So from what I learned, this is the Seahawks and something about their shoes, maybe, I think, or their socks or something is rare. So this got bid up to $106.49, guys, and the buyer paid shipping. How awesome is that? Definitely a bolo. So if you ever see these little figures, they go to a game, even if there's no game, pick up the figures. I mean, at the very least, I would say they would be a great bread and butter item, but I did get lucky and it was a rare um uniform or something. The next item I sold is this Halloween costume mask. Um, this came from a garage sale. This item was not even in the garage sale. I was talking to the people and I ended up buying all of their Halloween items out of their garage. And this was one of the items. I sold this for $45 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's a really, really cool mask. Yeah, nice and fun. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price 90s. It's vintage from the 90s. It's farm animals with the tractor. And I sold this for $38.24 and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe this came from a garage sale and I think it was $2. Okay, so this vintage Tyco Kitty Kitty Kittens plush gray, black, white kitten. It's from 1992. You guys, <laughs> this is a bolo. I got this at a garage sale. I don't know if you remember my big Scooby-Doo plush, but this garage sale had tons of great plush, okay? And they wanted 50 cents each. So I like bought almost all of it, but I got this and like four or five of the dogs, okay? It's like called Puppy Puppy or something like that. This cat, I took a best offer of $75 and the buyer paid shipping. And I will tell you, if I would have held out, I probably could have got a hundred because they go for a lot of money. The next item I sold came from my mystery or not mystery my um it's a dibble box it wasn't called a dibble box at the time but i bought it from donatella bodolino's auction and i remember i have a video on it but nobody bid against me and i saw this item and i'm like 
those are going to, I'm going to sell those. Those are going to be a good item. They're going to be a bolo. And um, it actually turned out that some of the other items that were in the box were bolos that I didn't know about. And I'm sure you guys have heard me mention them before, but I ended up selling this for $38 and the buyer paid shipping and they're adorable. But if you have not checked out Donatella Bodolino's auctions, definitely check those out. There's a link down in the description of the video. And it's great for resellers to get inventory to, to resell. The next item I sold is this Pendleton jacket. And it had a little bit of an issue, but I got it for 50 cents and at a garage sale. And I sold this for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. And you guys, if you want to see what I paid for that whole box from Donatella, I do have a video on it. And um, I show you everything that I got in the box. It was really good. So go check that out. The next item I sold are these putts made in, or they're Japan, uh, they're houses. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with these, but they're little putts houses. Sometimes I sell them individually. I probably should have, but I was being lazy and I listed them all together. Um, I mean, I would have probably been able to get 10 or 15 a piece for them, depending on the condition. Um, so yeah, there were 17 of them. I probably could, I probably could have done better, but that's okay. I sold them for $69 and 99 cents. The buyer paid shipping and those were in a mystery box. The next item I sold is this Lang and Wise Williamsburg Kings Arms Tavern ornament. It was brand new in the box. It was sealed. It looks like this. Um, basically checked the barcode and looked up comps. It was sealed. So whenever something's sealed, I always price it high. I took a best offer of $48 and it sold pretty quick. And that was a thrift store pickup. The next item I sold is this Aquarius Zodiac Barbie. I took a best offer of $40 on her. She was a part of that Barbie lot that I bought and I got her for about four bucks and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this peach pie, um, cream pie recipe plate. And there's somebody that's in my Facebook group that sold a pie plate like this for crazy money. Definitely go check out my Bolo Buddies Facebook group if you're not in it. I share bolos and then it's also other resellers share their bolos. So it's a great place to learn. The link is also down in the description. This plate I paid $2 for at a garage sale and I sold it for $43.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Tickle Tickle Wiggle Wiggle Jiggle Pink Easter Bunny Plush. New with tags, new old stock. I sold it for $87.99 and it went internationally. So you can imagine with the global shipping program, what they paid in shipping fees and custom fees. So that was one expensive bunny. Um, I got it at a thrift store for $3.50 and the buyer paid shipping. It's cute in a weird way, <laughs> but it like shook and giggled. It was weird. <laughs> the next item I sold is this Halloween uh, ceramic orange jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. So the reason I put Upco with a question mark is because this is the symbol for Upco on another one I had, but the other one you could see where it said Upco and I couldn't see it on this one. So I don't know if it just wasn't like a good stamp. I don't know. But I sold this for $43.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And this also came out of a mystery box. And I think I talked about this in another video. This is an item that I almost donated. I didn't really think that these things had much value, but the other one said Upco and I was like, I looked it up and there were decent comps. So not an item I probably would have grabbed, but I learned because I had it. So I just listed it. So pretty excited about that one. The next item I sold are these Schley Nativity Set Germany. They're from Germany. You know, the Schley like animals. This is a Schley um, Nativity and it's rare and it's a hard to find item. They're like little uh, plastic toys. The manger, um, is that, or the stable, what would you call that? This little house thing <laughs> is not um, a part of it, but I got it with it. So I went ahead and just listed it that way. I figured, you know, somebody may uh, enjoy having that with it because it fits great. And I sold this for $79.19 and the buyer paid shipping. And that was also a thrift store find, probably had like five bucks in it. I can't remember exactly. The next item I sold is this Amy Butler shoulder bag. It came from a garage sale. It's new with tags. Uh, I think I paid around $5 for that. It was kind of one of those things where I lotted a bunch of stuff together and um, got a really good deal. So maybe not quite that much. 
I sold this for $45 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Barbie. It is a golden angel doll. Again, from that garage sale where I bought all the Barbies, got it for four bucks, sold it for $55 and 24 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, guys, this came from my I got it free garage sale. I don't know if you guys remember if you saw that video or not. If you didn't go watch that video, you will not believe everything that these people gave me for free. I was saying um, I probably made between five and $800 on everything. It is crazy. Um, so I got this free and I took a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Disney cars, planes, vehicles. It's just a lot of Disney cars. Um, all the ones with the eyeballs, I lotted them up and I was hoping it was going to go for a little more, but it sold for $46 and the buyer paid shipping. I had a whole bunch of them. I pick them up at garage sales whenever I see them. I get them at different places like thrift stores and I just save them and then I lot them typically. I'll pull out any that I think are special and sometimes list them separately, but this is a great lot for, you know, a kid to just dig into and play with, I guess. The next item I sold is this Paw Patrol Mission Cruiser. I picked this up at a garage sale for $5. Took a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. I probably could have parted out each one of these and made a little more money, but I took the lazy road and just sold it as a lot. The next item I sold is this Bart Simpson's Springfield. Um, it's a retirement center and you've got the figures that go along with it. This was a major score from a thrift store. You guys, if you watch my videos, this one has been a little bit long tail, but I have been selling these things like crazy. Um, I took a best offer on this of $45 and the buyer paid shipping. Somebody's like the Simpsons that just keep giving in one of my comments because I've sold so many. The next item I sold is this vintage Halloween candlestick light blow mold. These came from a thrift store. They were $1.50 each. I got five of them. I have one left. Uh, this person bought four of them from me for a total of $80 and they paid the shipping. Oh gosh, this item. Talk about long tail. I think my mistake on this one was that I listed them together and I should have listed them separately, but I was too lazy to go back and redo pictures. So I just waited on the right buyer. It ended up being a bolo. I ended up selling them for $106 and 24 cents and the buyer paid shipping. I picked these up at an estate sale. I, I want to say maybe 10 bucks for both of them. I think it was a, maybe it was a garage sale. Gosh, you guys, literally, it's probably been three, four, maybe even five years ago. I've had them so long, but they are so cool. So I think I just, maybe my title wasn't good. I'm really not sure because I really thought that they were going to be a home run. So, I mean, I still did good, but it just took a long, long time. The next item. Okay, this one was an awesome, amazing surprise bolo. It's from the Rampage movie. It's uh, Ralph the Wolf. And his head would not really stay on. Um, and I disclosed that. And it still sold for $102.50. Uh, I'm not even sure where this came from. The head was like laying beside it. I didn't even think I had the head. And then I found the head. It was laying in a toy pile. So I can't remember where I got it. But if it's laying in a toy pile, it was probably a dollar or less. So um, yeah, be on the lookout for this guy. The next item I sold are these vintage Skipper and Malibu dolls. And I picked these up at a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of Barbies and Skippers and stuff like that. I, I probably got about $5 in this. And I took a best offer of 50 in the buyer paid shipping. And the last item is this Bratz dolls style and sa salon and spa. And I bought a huge lot of Bratz stuff at a garage sale and I put it in small lots. And this one sold for... $55 and 24 cents and the buyer paid shipping. All right, guys, that is my big money bolo. There's going to be some other videos that pop up here, here, and here, and then subscribe here. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, definitely do that. And I am sitting on the floor because I've been having issues with my internet when I sit over by my bolo buddy sign. And, um, I don't seem to be getting the feedback when I sit right here, but I'm on like the hard floor and I'm like, okay, I got to figure out a different way to sit because I miss my comfortable couch. So anyway, if you see me wiggling around a little bit, it's because I'm trying to get comfortable. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment, like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching. 
Check out the list perfectly video if you guys aren't cross posting. I highly recommend it. Coupon code Bolo Buddies, one word. It's a referral coupon code that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. Been using it for over a year. It has changed my business model and I love it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.